All right, well, when you think of spring cleaning, your first thought is probably your house. Well, you might be forgetting another place you spend plenty of time, and that's your car. Uh, Haley Hernandez, Channel 2's Haley Hernandez, is here to talk about the dirty germs we might be facing. Good yeah. morning, guys. Yeah, because a lot of times you wash the exterior of your car without washing the interior. I bet you won't do that anymore. <laughs> What's lurking in your car probably won't kill you, probably, but it could harm someone with a weakened immune system. And I bet there are parts of your car that you never considered cleaning that are harboring the most germs. Gym equipment, shopping carts, every germ you touch in public goes into your car before you ever get home. So obviously my two front seats here. Professor Kevin Gary from the University of Houston is an expert on infectious diseases, and he shows me where bacteria is most prevalent in your car. In these little crevices right here, and then right around there, you touch here an awful lot or change that right there on the gas pedal, and obviously the brake too. And the number one offender, car seats are likely covered in nasty germs. Imagine compounding everything with a car seat, because then how often do you actually remove the car seat clean well and bring it back again. But germs are accumulating on it over the years that the kid's sitting there? Exactly right, and that's compounded by many illnesses that young children have, snotty noses that are being wiped and then wiped down. And so if you're not cleaning that periodically, that can accumulate over time. So what all lives in here? I might specifically be looking for C. diff, because that can cause disease in vulnerable people, the elderly, people who have recently been hospitalized with antibiotics, these type of persons. Other common bacteria like E. coli and staph may also be present. We do spend a lot of time in our personal cars, but a lot of people spend a lot of time in company cars too. What about them? Let's go take a look. So what do you think of our car? So you might be taking a wipe here every now and then, but you're likely not wiping in between these crevices where dirt can also be, which would be nice food for the bacteria. To find out which bacteria specifically, we let his team get to work, swabbing all the places likely to harbor germs. All right, so I'll let you know the results when we get them back in a couple of weeks. But I do have some good news for you. It is true that exposure to germs is good for most of us, although people who suffer from allergies with what you're breathing in through the AC, that's probably not so good in your car. Still, the solution is simple. You gotta clean in the crevices. So for details on how to detail your own car, mm -hmm. you can go to click2houston.com and I've put it under the health section. Yeah. That's the thing is, even if you get it professionally detailed, a lot of times they're not getting in those crevices. Exactly, yeah, the little air vents and the little cracks where the cruise control is, those are the spots that you want to pay attention to because, like you said, the dust and the food crumbs, they all settle in there, yeah. and that's the food for bacteria. Break out the toothbrush, get in there. <laughs> exactly, that's one of the tips. You know, all right, thank yeah. you so Thanks, much. Thanks, guys.